Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. This is our NHL segment. And our show covers everything Admirals and Priors related. So we're talking about the Priors. It's a hockey podcast for fans, by fans. Brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 202 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, Visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. And, you, and for those of you who have watched, and most of you have, you've all heard our commercial. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Call them at 414-800-7585. Get all your hockey and ice skating needs. You can also get roller hockey gear. Not sure about roller blades, but you can at least get roller hockey uh, shoulder pads and stuff. They have roller hockey skates. Roller as blades, well. you mean? No, they have like, it's a skate shape, but it's roller blade. Like an actual hockey skate shape. Because well, hockey. Still roller blades. No, roller blades actually have the little divots in the. Yeah, but roller blades, uh, they're roller hockey players. They're still roller blades, dude. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, spend money. Well, they'll like it. And I don't tell them that we sent you unless you spend money. Yep. All right. This game right here is Whoa. an interesting one. First right. off, we do have a little bit of NHL history um, looming upon us. Our favorite player is great. Um, I do have, we do have a tendency to, as fans to like players of other teams, whether we're a fan of that team um, or not. This you know? guy's a legend. And I we'll, challenge you to say he's not. And it will probably break Gretzky's goals record. Uh, Ovechkin scored a hat trick today, passing. Uh, Mario Lemieux. Hang on, first off, with his first goal, he passed Mario Lemieux, which in that, Super Mario is a legend. Yeah. Okay. Ovechkin's a with legend. his second goal, his 10th yeah. of the. Uh, of, for 10th position. And scoring, he passed Mark Messier. Oh, damn, he passed Super Mario and Messier. In the same night in scoring. So, congratulations to the great eight, Alex Ovechkin, our favorite player. Yes, he has, uh, he now has career... Yeah, I'm curious to hear this, because Alex Ovechkin by far is the greatest player I've seen, and I've watched Gretzky play, and Ovechkin's amazing. All right, so... I don't even say what his record total is. Wait, click on his name. It should give you a link to his uh, career stats. But yeah, congratulations, <laughs> Ovechkin, man. You're lighting it up, dude. All right. Let's career go. stats. He has nine six hundred and ninety-two. Um. And he's played one thousand one hundred and thirty-three career games. And he's got thirty-four goals already this season. Oh, well, we're going back on that again. Yeah. Uh, Ovechkin's great. So congrats um, to the great eight. So he has a hundred and two goals away from tying Gretzky's. So one hundred three away from breaking the record. He yeah. can do that in about three years because it's Ovechkin and he's great. Well, if he's halfway through the season got thirty goals by next year, he'll only need se you know seventy. Like I said, <laughs> within three years, he could easily set Gretz. He could easily break Gretzky's mark of a uh, goal score. So yeah. congratulations, Ovechkin, man! You are incredible. Yeah, huge fan of yours. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. You know, there's great players in hockey history, and he's going to go down as one of them. Yep, easily Mount Rushmore of a uh, great. I'm, I'm probably one of the greatest Russian hockey players to ever play. Yeah, easily. Um, the only one he really would have to contend with on that list is Pavel Datsuk. Yeah. And that's not even a question because he's got way more goals than him. Yeah, because Ovechkin's awesome. All right, so now we're going to talk about the Priors game. Enough of drooling, this is a pretty o drooling over this Ovechkin. Is a, hey, this is a pretty interesting game. Preds get a 2-1 victory over the Sabres. So good job, Predators. All right, shots on goal were 37-31 Nashville. Uh, Face-off percentage was 59% Nashville, 41% Buffalo. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres were 0 for 3 on the power play. The Predators were 1 for 3. Uh, both teams had six penalty minutes. Uh, the Predators had 17 hits. Uh, the Sabres had 14. Block shots were 14-12 uh, in favor of the Predators. The Predators had eight giveaways, and the Sabres had 13. So Nashville was playing defense tonight. Um, it, was a, it was a good game. What, what say you before you go into the scoring? 
It was a good game, solid game for what I was able to see. I was battling with uh, AHL TV most of the night. Yeah, AHL gave us issues when we tried watching the Admiral game, and then uh, NHL TV was giving them issues trying to watch the Predators game. So technical issues across the board tonight, but we watched both games. Yes, um, so I was not able to see uh, the first goal Ryan score. Hart. Yeah, I was not able to see that, but I was able to see the rest of the game. Uh, that was two minutes into, or no, that was at the end of the first. But yeah, we were, well, no, remember we turned it on and they scored. Yeah, so Sam Reinhardt, you could start off there. Yeah, Sam Reinhardt scored his 17th of the year with an assist from, whoa. From Wool. I didn't know Wool was a player. <laughs> well, we ain't talking about Jet. Woo! Uh, this show is brought to you by Ric Flair. Woo! Yes, uh, and uh, the Utica Comets have a defenseman named Jet Wu. Ah. All right, the, anyways, uh, who got the assist on uh, Reinhardt's goal? It would be nice if I could see that. It, right now, it's giving me a right, It was uh, Rasmus Darwin with his 25th and McCabe with his 6th. Can uh, you see? Uh, no, but I'll go with what I can see from yours. Uh, Ryan Johansson was, has his 10th with an assist from Yossi, his 34th. And then Craig Smith got his 11th with an assist from Turris, his 13th, and Ekholm, his 21st. Hey, now they're letting you see uh, <coughs> on your computer. Yeah, now that I got it done. Yeah, right. So, hey, he don't need us. Let's cooperate now. All right. So, shots of the first were 7 to, uh, or was 12 to 7 Nashville. Shots of the second were 17-14 for Buffalo. Shots of the third were 13 to 7 Nashville or eleven to seven Nashville. Um, three stars of the game were Craig Smith. Wait, whoops. Ryan Johansson, Craig Smith, and Pecorine. Who Pecor the hell is Pecorine? I don't know. He's one of the, his most recent goalie to score a goal. Should we? Well, we should see that again yeah, <laughs> for the five hundredth time this week. All right. So in that, um, this game would have been a lot worse had it not been for him. But Linus Allmark stopped thirty-five of thirty-seven for a, a same percentage of point nine. Four, six. It was good goalie play on both teams. Like I gotta give it up to Allmark. It was a really he good kept goalie. his team in this game. Yeah, it was a good goalie battle. It was a lot of physicality too. Um, and then for Pecorino, he stopped thirty of thirty one with a point nine six eight save percentage. So that'll help him uh, in the stat category for all you fantasy hockey players. Scratches of the game for Nashville. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, literally, for the first time in two years, no scratches. Um, scratches for Buffalo was Scott Wilson, Colin Miller, and Rasmus Aspolden. Uh, head coach for Buffalo is Ralph Kruger, former uh, college hockey coach. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines, for now. Um, it's a running joke. You'll understand later. Uh, the referees were Danny O'Rourke and Trevor Hansen. Um, and linesmen were Travis Gorlitz and Brian Ponchi. Um, and no, I'm not about to sit here and go mm bop for the Hansen. Wow, <laughs> you, you did it before me, good man. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it, and I'm like, eh, let's go with the joke. All right, now let's talk about, uh... The All-Star Game. We have All-Star Game coming up. For the NHL as well this week, this next week. Next week, not, not this week, but next week. Next weekend, starting on Saturday. I uh, thought Friday was the skills competition, and then ain't Sunday the actual game itself. Let's see. I'm not saying I read their schedule wrong. Friday. It's on Friday at 7. So, add more that we got to do and watch. Yeah, skills competition is always fun to watch. It's just the players having fun showing off. But so, it's still fun to watch. So, pretty much Friday, he's probably going to be crashing at my house. Most <laughs> likely, with all the stuff we have to do. Yeah. Um, so, um, that's their skills competition. The one thing, I guess, me and you could say that we're really looking forward to. Justin Bieber. Yeah, the Justin Bieber shootout drill that they're going to have. Against Biggington, if he scores, Biggington said he would dye his hair blonde. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jordan Bing. 
understand. Yeah, so, I mean, as much as, like, the Predators and the Blues have a rivalry, that's still kind of fun for, like, the fans. Yeah. Like, as a fan size of hockey, you know, if me and him were playing backyard hockey and I was a goalie and he was like, hey, I'll make you a bet. If I score on you, you have to do this. You yeah, know, it's right. just a little... Little... And nobody likes Justin Bieber unless you're a teenage girl or a woman in general. So I I, I don't mind all of his music. It's just not fan. I'm just not a pop guy. I'm a metal and rock guy. I'm sorry. When it comes to music, I'm as narrow minded as I'm be. married, so I have to learn to like it. <laughs> um, but no, like I was gonna say, the one thing we are looking forward to is the Elite Women's Three on Three presented by Adidas. Um, the yeah, that's I, a new feature, because I don't think they had that last year. I know they had I a know. woman competing in some of the uh, competitions, but I don't think they did, had a three-on-three -three thing. I think that the w, WNHL really needs to, they need a, uh, to show their fan base, and us as, as men and, and, and as the men's league, we need to show them a little more support. On the flip side... Uh, NBA should probably support the WNBA more, too. Yes. We should have a women's football league and not that lingerie stuff. Uh, I was just about to say that. <laughs> I was just about to say I've been there, done that. But, uh, yeah. But I agree. It's going to be interesting to watch. And then, obviously, Sunday the 26th is that game. Um, which we'll be doing a double on that as well because we... We have the AHL skills competition that same day. Yep. And we have a bunch of other stuff. So that might be another day I spend a night. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bridgestone... No, you'll get a ride. Uh, NA, Bridgestone NA, oh, yeah, NHL yeah. Fastest Skater. Uh, Bud Light uh, NHL Streak Save. Uh, the Honda Accuracy Shooting. The Elite Women's 3 and 3 and presented by Adidas. Enterprise Hardest Shot. And Gatorade NHL Shooting Stars. All right, so fastest skater will have eight players compete for the fastest time around the rink. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, when you got that little kind of like a... Uh, all right, a, so uh, we will have a minimum of four goalies. All 36 uh, skaters will participate in the Bud Light Streak Shave, uh, a shootout grouped by division where goalies will compete to make consecutive saves. Each goalie will face the... Uh, one opposing division, a minimum of nine scoring attempts. Okay. Um, so, and then we have the Honda Accuracy Shooting. It's basically playing four corners. Yep. Uh, the women's three on three, they're going to get a two ten-minute periods with a running clock. Um, so it's going to be essentially overtime. Yes. And then uh, all penalties will be served with a penalty shot. Okay, so it's going to be kind of like the All-Star game, but... Yeah. yeah, it's like 3 on 3 overtime. If you take a penalty, it's 4 on 4 or Yeah, four but the three. NHL All-Star game is consist contested under 3 on 3 uh, rules. Because don't they have different segments ever, ever since they switched to that tournament format? Alright, so this one is the Gatorade Shooting Stars. This is a puck target event. Pucks that do not hit the puck target will get no punch. Pucks that bounce or deflected or otherwise ricochet into the target will be scoring as a valued hit. The pucks that hit the face of the target will be centered as a hit. Will scored as if they directly went into center. Um, I think it's like one point for one way, two points. Players that hit the same target multiple times, well, you know. But you get what we're talking about. Do you have to really do it to explain the rules for each one? Nope. Uh, also, Jacob uh, Slavin will replace uh, Doug Hamilton. We wish him well. Yeah, Hamilton broke his leg. Uh, was that two nights ago? Yeah, uh, broke on broken fibula. He's done for the year. Yeah, we uh, mentioned that on earlier on a few a couple days ago. We mentioned that on the show, but that it didn't show. look good, and that we let you guys know. Unfortunately, it's a broken leg, and yeah, Hamilton's out for the year. Sorry, Carolina. I hope he gets better. He was a good player to watch. But it's also a good situation for them to rally behind someone. Yeah, like I said, I just hope he gets better, and I hope he's healthy enough to play again. 
also, want to see a also for hurt. all of you watching, go check out our page. We have yeah. our uh, the backdrop you see behind us is now up and available as a wallpaper. Yeah, so uh, support us even uh, more. <laughs> yes, so we have only the cool kids got our backdrop. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we have our rosters for the uh, Atlantic Division. You go, we'll take a division by division. You do two, I do two. We'll just alternate. That I way got you the can first. Stop I got the first one, and then you take the second. Yeah, we though. alternate. All right, so the Atlantic Division forward: David Pasternak from Boston, Tyler Bertuzzi from Detroit. This is his first appearance. Anthony Duclair for Ottawa, his first appearance. Jack Eichel for Buffalo, his third. Uh, Jonathan Huberto for Florida, his first. Mitch Marner his for Toronto, his first. Uh, Austin Matthews, his fourth for Toronto. Victor Hedman his, for Tampa Bay, his <clears throat> third. Shea Weber for Montreal, probably going to win the hardest shots, his seventh. Yeah. Uh, Frederick Anderson. Frederick Anderson for Toronto, his first. And Vedric, v Andre Vasilevsky for Tampa Bay, his third. Tuka Rask has chosen not to play. All right, now the Metropolitan Division. You got Chris Letang of the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is his sixth. He's the team captain. Uh, Matthew Barzel, uh, New York Islanders. This is his second. Nico, Nico Hishier. Hishier, New Jersey Devils. This is his first. Uh, then you got Travis Conacy. Conacy. Uh, that's from Philadelphia. This is his first. We have TJ Oshie from the Washington Capitals. This is his first. Only his first? Yeah. Uh, you're going to say the same thing for the next guy. Are Tammy Panarin? All those years with the Blackhawks, he never cracked the All-Star team. No, because it was always Patrick King. Or Duncan Keith. Or Taves. Anyways, Panarin for the Rangers. This is his first. Uh, John Carlson of the Capitals. His second. Uh, Jacob Slavin from Carolina. This is his first. We got Seth Jones of the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is his third. Uh, goalie, Braden Holtby from Washington. This is fifth. Then we have Tristan Jari, the goalie for Pittsburgh. This is his first. Uh, forwards, Jake Gensel of Pittsburgh. Kyle Palmer, the Devils. Dougie Hamilton of Carolina. And goalie, Jonas Corposalo. Uh, the Blue Jackets were replaced because of minor... Because of injury. Yeah. And then uh, Alex Ovechkin, Washington, he chose not to play. All right, Central Division, go. All right, so in the Central Division, we have Nathan McKinnon with Colorado, his fourth. He's the captain. Patrick Kane, his ninth. Um, Ryan O'Reilly for St. Louis, his third. David Perron for St. Louis, his first. Mark Scheifele for Winnipeg, his second. Uh, Tyler Sagan for Dallas, his sixth. Eric Stahl for Minnesota, his sixth. Roman Yossi uh, for Nashville, his third. Alex Petrangelo for St. Louis, his second. Jordan Bankington for St. Louis, his first. And Connor Hallibuck for Winnipeg, his second. Yeah, Binghamton and Hallibuck are goalies for anybody wondering. Um, Connor McDavid for the Edmonton Oilers. This is fourth appearance, and he is the team captain of the Pacific Division. Then, for also at Edmonton, you have forward Leon Dreisaitl. This is his second. Then we have forward Thomas Hurdle of the San Jose Sharks. This is first. Then we have Anzi Kopitar of the LA Kings. This is his fifth. Then we have Max Pastretti of the, Ve of the Vegas Golden Knights. This is his first. Then we have Elias Patterson of Vancouver. Uh, this is his second. Matthew Kachuk, Calgary Flames. This is his first. Uh, Mark Gordon, or, Gor oh, Mark Gordano of Calgary, this is his third. Uh, Mark Giordano. Yeah, G oh, Giordano whoop, of Calgary. Then we have Quinn Hughes of Vancouver, his first. Uh, Jacob Markstrom of Vancouver, his first. Uh, David Reach or, uh, of Calgary is his first. Uh, Jacob Silverberg personal reasons, Anaheim, uh, Logan Carter, injury of San Jose, and Darcy Kemper of Arizona were replaced because of her injury. Uh, Mark andre Fleury has chosen not to play. He's the goalie of the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, to my recollection, Silverberg's wife is due to give labor around the... Uh, so he wants to make sure he's available to beat her for the birth. That makes sense. It is perfectly understandable. Beat her for your kid when it's born. 
So that was, our, this has been our NHL video. Uh, um, like us on Facebook, watch our videos, subscribe to us on YouTube, watch our videos, be, tell your friends, and also go to Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, give them a call, 404-800-7585, or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com.